In this video, we're going to talk about the different color management features available in QImage 1 and how you can use them. Now, if you're not quite sure what color management is, this video won't be able to explain that because it's really beyond the scope of what I'm trying to show. But there are many videos available online which talk about color management. But to give you a basic idea, the images, the photographs you take with your camera, have a color profile associated with them which says how the colors are meant to be represented. Now the default is simply to let the printer manage the photograph and the profile together to produce the result you want. However, if you are looking for more advanced options, this is where you want to get into color management. Now if you're not concerned with color management, you don't really need to do any other steps beyond selecting the other settings you would when you're designing what you want to print. So for instance here, I have this sailboat down here I'd like to print. I'm going to make it fit to page. That's it. That's all you have to do. You've made your other settings. You click print. You're good to go. However, if you want to get into the color management side of things, you make a selection here from the ICC color profile dropdown. And there are four options available. Now, if you've not selected a profile previously, this option won't be here. This is showing the last custom profile that was selected. But the default is to simply let the printer drive and manage color. If you do want to select your own profile, just click down here and this will launch the dialog which lists all the printer profiles available on your system. And you should pick the profile which corresponds to the printer and media type you're printing to. So for instance here, I have a Canon Pro 1000 with photo paper plus semi-gloss. So this would be the appropriate profile I would want to use. You can then also select from the four different rendering intents, perceptual, relative, saturation, and absolute, on whether or not to use black point compensation. Now there's really no right or wrong to these settings, it's really what your personal preference is for how you want your print to look. So once you've made your selections, you say OK, and then the profile will be selected here. And again, just like with the other print settings, this will be remembered inside of the print setting media type uh, configuration so you don't need to do this every time. This is especially useful uh, if you're always wanting to use the same profile for the same media. Now if you want to print a color target then the option you should select from the drop down here is color management off. In this case QImage 1 will ensure that the image is printed exactly using the RGB values that are in the image and there will be no um, transformation of the color data whatsoever. Now, on the Mac side of things, you don't need to make any other changes in the driver. If I click on Properties here, you'll actually see that if I pick the color matching controls, that it's actually been disabled. That's your cue that you don't need to change anything. In fact, you can't change anything because you're saying that you want the software, you want QImage 1 to perform the color management for you. This makes it nice and easy. There's a couple of extra steps on Windows, and hopefully we'll have another video up which, which will explain how to do that. QImage 1 also lets you soft proof the effect of picking the ICC profile before you actually print the image. So if you click on the little soft proof icon, which is the little uh, eye icon with a check mark on it, and wait a few seconds, QImage 1 has now performed the rendering, has performed the transformation of the image from the profile which is contained within it to the profile you have selected on the printer and then it's simulating what this will look like on the paper. Notice you don't see the margin that this has been removed because you want to get a true idea of what the image looks like. You have the same controls here for rendering intent and black point compensation as you have inside of the uh, selection where you made the profile. So if I wanted to try a different intent, I can. And notice that these are cached, so I can now change between the two intents and you see the shift in the effect that would have on the paper. I can also check this button here which simulates the the white of the paper, what that will look like and again if I toggle this on or off you can see the different changes. When you're done you can simply click on the X and that will take you back to the regular live view mode. So that covers color management in QImage 1. As you can see it's nice and simple you don't have to worry about a lot of the details. You simply pick the profile you want, make sure you have the right printer settings, and QImage 1 will do the rest for you to give you great looking prints.